Hi, my name is Dennis Lenart, and I was the director on Back to the Future the Game. We're super excited to bring this game out of the archives to Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 for the very first time in order to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the films. When we originally made the game, one of the goals was to get key members from the cast involved. Unfortunately, at the time, Tom Wilson was unavailable. However, when we got the opportunity to re-release the game, we immediately reached out to Tom and found that he was available and totally on board to reprise his role. He's now joining Claudia Wells as Jennifer Parker, Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown, and in special appearances, Michael J. Fox as McFly's of the past and future. Now here's an exclusive interview with Tom talking about the films and recording his lines for the game. Tom Wilson as Biff, Back to the Future 101. This is take 80. Don't run away from me, you little rat. The Back to the Future movies were incredibly popular from the minute they hit uh, movie theaters. Because if you think about it, it's sort of amazing that no one came up with a story idea where you take a time machine and meet your own parents. What if you met yourself earlier in your life? What if you met your mom and dad? What would that be like? And that's, uh, I, I think, fascinating for people. And it just endures. I was uh, absent from school a lot. I was sick when I was a kid, and I was pushed around by bullies a lot. Um, so I, the, the, the germ of what Biff came from was me doing an impression of people that I had looked at, people that I had watched pushing me around. Of course, as an actor, then you approach things and what will his voice sound like? What will his, what will his uh, you know, physicality be like? And uh, there are many techniques that actors use in order to get that. But I mean, he's, he moves his neck more. He uh, uses his jaw more than I do. You know, th things like that. So with every character in the movie, I would think about those things. I would think about uh, uh, how, do you, how do you approach it physically, how I stand how my face is going to be, how my, I'm going to hold my jaw with the different things. So that's kind of, that was my approach to it. I think that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand with voice acting, because voice acting is acting. It's acting a character. And if you're not, if you're not moving with your voice, if you're not doing the things that you would do, it's, um, you can hear the difference in it. So a lot of people come up and I don't, you know, I, I would think the same thing. If I wasn't in show business, I would think, well, I could make funny voices. I could just go like, hey guys, wait, you know, and people think, well, I should be a voice actor. That's not it at all. You have to be an actor. And a lot of times in voiceover, you have to be a more experienced actor because you realize all the physicality and everything is great, but it has to come through here. It, it's only going into people's ears. You know, so a lot of stuff, a lot of quality has to be in that in order for everybody to get, oh yeah, that's the, that's the guy, you know, for it, to, for it to really work. Yes, um, I'm accustomed to that kind of a thing where the script is very thick because you have many different choices that the player, the participant can make, and the scene is gonna go in different ways. In fact, I'm doing kind of an angrier version of this interview right after, right after. And you can ask the same questions. Uh, no, you have to be here, and we're gonna just do an option that the player can click a thing, and you ask me questions, and everyone just ticks me off. I go, let's try one now. Let's try one now. Click it, and okay. Go ahead, ask the next one. Have you listened to A.J. Locastio's impersonation of Michael J. Fox in the role of Marty McFly, and what did you think of it? What kind of question is that? He stinks. Next question. <laughs> in the first Back to the Future, you know, I was playing myself in as an older guy, younger guy. <clears throat> Second Back to the Future, I played older guy, alternate universe, all this stuff. But I'm just a guy from Philadelphia. You know, I grew up taking subways and trains places. I got to play a cowboy. I got to learn uh, roping, riding, and quick draw shooting 
in a Western. And Westerns are made sometimes, but very rarely. So that was my favorite because who doesn't want to come into a saloon with those doors and just because you walk in, like everyone just falls silent and like chairs, tables clear out just because you're standing there. That's pretty cool. So, you know, so I had a lot of fun with that. I don't even fit in a DeLorean. That's really, you know what? The answer to the question is I couldn't get into the DeLorean because I can't fit in the DeLorean. I tried to fit in the DeLorean in one of the movies where I'm stealing the DeLorean and I get in it and I, it takes about four minutes for me to actually close the door. And they're like, Tom, you're stealing the car. You have to get in it. And you know, I have to fold myself into an origami swamp in order to get into the DeLorean and close the door so I couldn't use it anymore. Anyway.